Hi, today I have easy video for you. It would be easy if you know how to apply factorial method. And here is a problem from the cross of two heterozygous parents. What is the probability of getting eight yellow seeds and three green seeds? And as I said, this would be uh, very easy to solve is if you know how to apply factorial method. And uh, if you know, you may stop video here, try to solve this problem on your own. And when you would be ready, you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. For those of you who don't know what is a factorial method and or how to apply for this uh, problem, here is my explanation. So first of all, I want to give you a formula that we are going to use. So we would have uh, here uh, total number of events and as you see, uh, we have uh, here eight yellow seeds and we also have uh, three green seeds. So uh, in our formula, this go on top and underline, uh, we would put two these independent events. For example, uh, this can be first event would be uh, S and uh, number of the events uh, that is uh, uh, event 2 would be T and now we just have to multiply uh, this left part of the formula by the uh, probability of each event so we have to multiply by probability uh, of the event S so this would be probability raised S and uh, probability of a second event. Uh, so this would be probability of the second event uh, raised uh, the same number T. So I would use the same color. So as you see, uh, this formula is simple and now let's try to apply it. So uh, for n, that is total number of events, uh, we would have 11 because 8 uh, yellow seeds plus 3 green seeds would be 11. So we put 11 here and we divide by probability or number of the s events, that is 8 yellow seeds. So we put eight here and probability of the t events so three green seeds would be three factorials and uh, also probability of the event s that is eight uh, yellow seeds so i'm going to build a parent square to find the probabilities so we have one parent that is capital y small y and another parent that is also capital y small y and uh, as you see capital y stands for the yellow color so it's dominant and small y stands for the green color so here we would have capital y capital y here we would have capital y small y and here capital y small y and here small y small y. So as you see 3 out of 4 or 3 quarters we expect to be probability of the uh, first event uh, to have yellow seeds and probability to get uh, green seeds from a such cross would be 1 quarter. So as you see uh, probability of the uh, S events would be three quarters. So we would have uh, here three, or I would use yellow color, three quarters. And we have to raise it by the number uh, eight. So as you see, S goes here 
so 8 go here. And we also have to multiply by probability of number 2 event or t, so this is going to be uh, 1 quarter raised by number 3 here. So this number go here. So now this is just pure mathematics left. So what we are going to get here for the left part of the formula we are going to expand. So what does this mean? 11 with exclamation mark and 8 with exclamation and 3 this is factorial, and factorial means that we have to multiply this number by itself in decreasing order. So we have to multiply 11 by 10, by 9, by 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And underline we have uh, 8 factorial, so this is going to be 8 multiplied by 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And also we have factorial 3, so this would be 3 multiplied by 2 and by 1. So now we have just to cross out the common elements, so common elements would be this and this, and also we can uh, reduce 9 and 3, so here we'll put 3, and we also can divide 10 and 2, so here we would left 5, and we just can eliminate this 1, because anything divided by 1 would be the same number. So what we left here, we left 11, 5, and 3. So if we multiply 11 by 5, we are going to get 55, and multiply it by 3, uh, we would get 155. So we solved our problem for the left part, and this is going to be probability to have uh, 8 uh, seeds. Uh, of, of one kind, as you see here, uh, of the yellow seeds and probability to get uh, green seeds out of uh, total 11 uh, seeds. And now we have to multiply by the uh, total number of probabilities and uh, this is how we are going to get an answer here. So, uh, in order to uh, raise this number by 8, we have to multiply 3 by itself 8 times, and we have to multiply 4 by itself 8 times. Or you can just use uh, a calculator, so what we are going to get here would be 6561 on top, divided by 6, 5, 5, 3, 6. And uh, with uh, this part of the formula, it would be easier. 1 multiplied by itself 3 times going to be 1, and 4 multiplied by 4 would be 16, and multiplied by 4 going to be uh, 64. So here we would have 1 over 64. And now we just have to multiply all these numbers and as you see we have one number, second number and third number. So this would be once again very easy mathematical calculation. So we would have 10, 16, 95 and 5 on top. So I just want to highlight that this is not 7, this is 1. Um, so um, on the bottom we are going to get 4, 1, 9, 4, 
0.304 and if we divide these numbers we are going to get 0 0.242 uh, number would be longer but uh, I just um, rounded this number to three decimal places and this um, answer given not as percentage and if you want to know uh, what is the percentage would be we have to multiply this number by 100 so we have to multiply by 100 and the answer in percentage form would be 24.2 percent why we have to multiply by 100 because uh, the maximum uh, what we can get uh, here probability for example on top would be uh, cannot exceed the probability that we can get uh, on the bottom so uh, always number divided by itself would be 1 so uh, in this formula 1 would equal to 100 percent so any um, answer that we are going to get here in order to tra uh, transfer it into the percentage form we have to multiply by 100 so this is going to be our answer today and thank you for your attention please subscribe for my new videos that i post almost every day thumbs up if you like this video goodbye